Okay, refueled. And let's head over to Emmett. Hi, Emmett. Joe said to give this to you. Joe's near as old as me. Can't believe he's still racing. He said this clears his debt? Close enough. He doesn't win many races these days. 14th place doesn't award a lot of prize money. So he won't need to retire? Soon, but not today. This wipes the slate for me. I'll fix up his hova when he comes in again. That's good, I guess. See you later, Emmett. Will Joe keep racing? I guess that's up to him. Good. I feel like I helped Joe out. I found out more about Cora. It's very confusing. Hold on to it for now. I've got something I've got to do. <gasps> Another job? No. If you're about to give me a headache worth of data, I need a coffee first. Ooh, it's all good. Just a little scratch. So far, we aren't doing too much. I mean, we've we've delivered our uh, we delivered the bomb. Just not sure what. All right. So I think I think I'm gonna need to park over here. We delivered that bomb. Really hasn't been much else that we've done that's like nefarious for Cloud Punk. Nothing's like really progressed the story a whole bunch. Ma'am, have you found anything of interest? Can't say that I have. If you find anything suspicious, bring it to me. Okay. What if I don't want to? So the hollow cache thing, I don't know what that is. I think it's like a bank, but I'm not sure how it operates in this game. Hey, come here a minute. I'm busy. Wait, I, I just want to talk. Dude looks like an here. I can emo tell. carrot top. <laughs> because of my dark exotic eyes, right? Give me a break. No, because you obviously don't realize who I am. When someone around here gets my attention, they're flattered. You're right. I don't know who you are. Let me finish my coffee in peace, please. I'm Dynamite Simpson. Even if you haven't heard of me, you'll have heard one of my music projects for sure. If you say so. Look, I'm I haven't gotten my coffee yet. Eastern fashions for my next music video. I see that embroidery on your sleeve. Eastern Peninsula, right? You're a music video director? I'm a record exec, video director, entrepreneur, guitar player, social media hub, brand construction technician. And you want my sleeve? Not exactly. I'd like to use the floral design in the background for my next music video. Much as your cultural appropriation of my favorite cardigan sounds tempting. Tell me a little more about your people. I really don't feel like it. I bet your people enjoy my music, even there, beyond the city. I don't think we do. Ah, perhaps playing my music requires technology beyond your means. We're not savages, we're farmers, and we have our own music. 
Your own music? Your own fashion? How novel. I must learn more. How could I learn about your people's music? Did you grow up playing tribal drums? What? I grew <laughs> what up playing fuck? Bach. So you're a musician? Not anymore. Shooting begins in five minutes. I'll learn more about your music, but for now, can I take a photo of that design? If you pay me. Yeah. Perhaps, if you tell me more, what does the pattern mean? It's a catapult. For my people, it's a gift mothers give their daughters to protect them. From? Predatory men. Really? This'll be perfect in Dolly's next video. I have one in my pocket. I brought it from home. It's dried. Really? Might I have it? Show me the limbs. Here, take them. You would really allow me to have this. Sell your cultural gift from your mother? Sure, I gotta eat. Excellent. I think this'll look fantastic in Dolly's hair in the music video. Pleasure doing business with you. I must go, but we might speak again. Goodbye. Alright, Dynamite Simpson. It was not a pleasure meeting you. Thanks for the money, though. I mean, it was 300 limbs. Oh no! Your mother's flower. You gave it away. Mom didn't give that to me. I found it growing near a sewage plant. I used it as a bookmark. Does it really protect women from predatory men? It's just a dead flower, Camus. Aldo. Um, hey, you okay? Yes, yes, I'll, I'll be fine. I just need to rest for a moment. <laughs> Maybe some food. Are you from the Eastern Peninsula? No, from the steppes. My name's Haldo. I'm, uh, was a dentist. Rania, driver. So what went wrong? Everything. Hypergentrified rent closed my office, a debt corp took my augments. The wounds didn't heal. I was in pain. I started with Jews and worked my way up the periodic table of painkillers till I got here. So now I could barely see. Take some money for food. Thank you, Rania. Your people are always decent. You know, uh, I always wanted to see the Eastern Peninsula one day. Maybe you will. <laughs> what a lovely smile you have when you tell a kind lie, Rania. Okay. So it doesn't look like I can cross. Maybe if we go up and over for wherever this takes me. Oh, coffee guy. I saw you looking at me from over there. I was just going to ask if this was the only coffee place in the zone. I'm from out of town, and this coffee is... Like hova oil? Well, I was going to say it's below average, but yeah. No, this is the only place. I've been coming here since I was in my teens. You look like you're still in your teens. It's the coffee. It's done in my growth. <laughs> so, you're actually... 75. Well, Bullshit. Grandpa, it was <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, hey, uh, wait up. What's your name? I'm Rania. I drive deliveries, and I've got another job coming up, so... Do you... uh, want to do something? Are you asking me on a date? No. I mean, all right, we could just do something and see what happens. Do something. How specific? Uh, we could... Come on, coffee guy. What could we do? Bowling. Ew. Shooting? The fuck, I love bowling. Range downtown. <laughs> Unless you fire the big pulse rifles. I don't like pulse rifles or any guns, really. They tend to get aimed at people a lot. We only shoot targets. I believe the humans and the targets can coexist peacefully. Uh, what about pizza? Better. What kind? Artichoke and Avo from the new hipster place uptown. Oh, a swing and a miss. Sorry, coffee guy. Maybe some other time. If I see you here again, I'll have thought of something you like, Rania. We'll see. <laughs> I just got an achievement for flirting. <laughs> Did I not get a coffee? No, I didn't get a coffee. Welcome to Neo's Neo Cafe. I'm Neo. What can I get you? Um, cup of coffee, hot, delicious. Do I get any of these or do I have to? Special kind of cappuccino for the people of Nivalas made with love and extras. 
Well, and Nivacino sounds cool. Thanks for this, Neo. Have a spectacular day. Thank you, Neo. You're so pleasant. What's up, Danya? Excuse me, I see you sell old stuff. Do you know what this is? Pass it here. Let's see. Hmm. Oh my. What is it? I thought maybe an old music storage. Music? No, not at all. This is a game. An old one at that. Where did you find it? Actually, it was near some trash. No, I don't believe it. So it's an antique. Oh, yes. This was played on a Spectrum home computer. 48K. You needed an interface to make the joystick work. Kempster or Protec. Otherwise, you had to play on the rubber keys. Even the words I understood in that sentence didn't make sense. <laughs> it's like this, you see. You put this tape into a tape recorder first and... Nope. Still no clue. Long ago, information was stored on magnetic tapes. You see the strips here? These wound round playheads, or something like that. No one knows exactly how it operated now. But we can feed this into our comprehender and it gives us executable code. So, this was a game people played on a screen? Oh yes, it would take a long time to upload the data to memory. And the executable data itself is tiny. It's hard to comprehend how our progenitors managed to work within such strict memory constraints. You're really into this stuff, aren't you? I'm interested in the technology, sure. But what really fascinates me is this game. You controlled a little sprite. You walked along a street and you punched everyone you came across. <laughs> we believe these old games were deeply symbolic, like Sisyphus with the rock. So they were morality lessons? We collectors believe so. I think every one of these classic games can teach us a lesson. What did punching people in the street teach us? Metaphorically, it is telling us that we cannot simply fight urban decay through physical force. You see, in this game, when you win, you start again. So the cycle repeats. Exactly. So through the game, we learn that the violence is entertainment, but the creator of the game seeks to tell us that violence is also pointless. These old games were pretty deep. How did this end up lying on the street? There's plenty of other street vendors who are collectors like me. One of them, Old Sinclair, he died last week. And you're not really allowed to own this stuff. If Corpsec catches you... Oh, I'm sorry about Mr. Sinclair. He was in the zone that fell into the sea last month. Can't be helped. You should keep your eye out for more of these. They may be scattered all over the city. You'll pay me for them? I sure will, as long as you keep it quiet. In fact, I can even show you this one if you like. It has a two-player mode. We can punch people in the street together. Maybe another time. Just the Wait, limbs are no. fine. Wait, no! I wanna play! I wanna punch people! Oh, yeah, that's not creepy at all, just fucking standing there. Hello. Is that you? Camus, why are you calling me on the comm? I'm on a coffee break here. I have a reason. Is the reason that you don't like being alone? Yes, that is it. Is it okay? It's fine. I'm glad of the company. Why do you need the coffee? I've never worked night shift before, Camus. Coffee creates the illusion that I'm actually still awake. You wouldn't understand. You don't sleep. I sleep. I guess you go offline and recompile your source code. That's a bit like sleeping. I sleep. Okay, I heard you. Tell me what you found out about Cora. I found three different types of things about... Chemis, this data analysis and retrieval, it's not that you can't do it, it's just it's a bit... dry. Why don't we let the generic automata take care of this part? You can go offline for a bit. Sleep! Sure. Custom personality Chemis offline. Generic automata reinstated. All right, Mr. Personality. Tell me what we know about Korra now. Three distinct data points of origin for Korra. Two, deprecated and accessible only via the underweb. Warning, your automata was detected accessing this information and your identity was compromised. Shit. Shit. Well, too late to do anything about it now. Tell me what you found. Give me the official data first. Cora is a term colloquially used by citizens of Nivalis to refer to the combination of AI and mechanical systems. 
which manage the logistical and maintenance systems operating throughout the city. I knew that much, go on. As an anthropomorphism of a mercurial personality, it is unclear if Korra exhibits a form of sentience or sapience. Best data suggests Korra is fundamentally inconceivable by human intelligence, existing just beyond the event horizon of biological minds. Not helpful at all. Why do people keep talking about Korra then? Day-to-day -day usage of Korra in conversation invokes the term in the same way one might talk about fate, luck, or serendipity. Example? I checked my balance and I'm all out of credits. Cora knows where it all went. There are two more data points for Cora? Yes, one from City Archive in a defunct data pool called the Internet. Another from a paper-based text called The Exegesis, a pseudo-historical book scanned and OCR'd 109,572.75 days ago. Read me the extract of the exit whatever. Reigning atop a hierarchy of smaller automatons, VIs, androids, and machines, Korra is the last of the 12 founders. Complex AIs that formed an advisory council for the human rulers of the city. Why did the founders fail? Did their source code encounter insurmountable logical errors? Or, worst <clears throat> of all, did the founders choose to abandon humanity? And if so, will Korra soon make that same choice? What's your confidence rating on the accuracy of this information? 11.40%. <laughs> Not very Higher confident. Than I thought. Does everyone in the city know this stuff but me? Cora is commonly discussed, appearing in up to 0.8% of all communication, but little substantive, verifiable data exists as to its nature. Read me the last data, the one from the internet. Cora, computer operated recycling agent. That's it? I don't know how this relates to hackers or AI. No further data available. Make a copy of that exegesis thing to local storage, encrypted. If I get a data violation, I don't want to lose access. And bring Camus back online. Activating custom automata personality, Camus. Did you find out about Cora? More or less. I don't know what I was hoping for. Will you get food too? Not hungry. Hey, Camus, have a look at the cafe menu. Do you see all the different types? If you drank coffee, what type would you order? Uh, donut coffee? That's not really... Oh, no. I said something dumb. Actually, Camus, I think donut coffee sounds pretty great. It does sound pretty good. <laughs> it does sound pretty good. Hi, I, uh, found this. I thought I should hand it in to the authorities. Or someone who might know what to do with it. Ma'am, what is this? I don't know. I found it. I think it might be... Give it to me. Now. Yes, I was just going to. I came to you. Is this some kind of scam? You know what? I'm just going to leave. What does this button do? No idea. Bye then. Stay here. I am going to get to the bottom of this. You go ahead. I have no idea what that button does, though, so for safety's sake, I suggest you... Hmm, nothing happened. Did you just press that? I literally just said... Nothing happened again. <laughs> Stop pressing the button. Ma'am, I'm going to ask you to step back, please. Fine, I don't want to be around you while you press a big red button on what looks a lot like a detonator anyway. Wait, something happened. Uh... Oh, no. A light came on. There's words on the screen. What does it say? I can't read it. Let me see. Here. I can read this. It's Arabic. And? It says, please don't press this button again. Oh. I swear, that's what it says. All right, then. Well, I'd better ask my supervisor about this. Uh, please move along, ma'am. Does your supervisor speak Arabic? No. <laughs> Why? No reason. They're going to push the button again. <laughs> All right. 14 out of 20 for the uh, punch cards. Driver 14FC, are you out of your Hava? I was on a break. 
There are no breaks for me or for you. Have you seen the vids? No, why? More accidents in Sector 21. No, uh, Sector 23. Or is it 21? Bombings? Not sure. This is bad for us. We've lost more drivers this week than in the past year. Everything okay, Control? I don't know, kid. I don't know. What's your real name? I'm tired of numbers. Rania. I'm gonna look out for you, Rania. Things will get better after tonight. I promise. We just need to get through this one night. What's your name, Control? I'm not supposed to say. Goddamn. Is something going wrong over there? You sound... It's all wrong here. I just... Maybe I'll tell you after this job. Okay. What you got for me? In Gallows Row, there's an old escalator called the Ascension. Someone at the base wants to surrender a package of their belongings. Where does the escalator go? Trust me, Rania. This job will be much easier for you if you don't ask that question again. You're looking for a guy named Gil. Oh, and one more thing. Yeah? Enjoy your coffee. All I got is a bottle of sake stashed in my desk drawer. And tonight, I'm having a drink. If they're not happy with that, they can fucking fire me. Cheers. Fessa had it, Control. Why wouldn't it let me through that freaking place? Can I go through here? Damn it. See what's potentially a punch card on the other side over there. I just went the wrong way. Collect Gil's belongings. I'll do that here in a second. Alright. Five more. Yeah, they won't they don't want to talk to me. Okay. <sighs> Alright, let's go do Gil's belongings. I think this will probably be our last quest of the night. No one seems to drive low. That's the easiest way to just avoid everybody. Downside is when all of a sudden you gotta come up. Is there a place to park over here? No. Just here. So we got to go down. Alright, there's more stuff to pick up that's down below. I just picked up a human hand. What? It appears to be... Oh no, this is somebody's hand. They're not supposed to be just throw a biological limb in the garbage. And it appears to be wearing a wedding ring too. Should I keep this? I 
Yeah, someone might want it back. You know, I picked up this, this, and I don't, I guess I don't know how to put it on my car. Hey, are you interested in having your photo taken with this magnificent creature? Just 100 limbs. No. Wouldn't you like to know his name? He is Norman. Hi, Norman. Is he a real bird? Norman isn't a bird. He's a falcon. A real one? Well, he's not a hologram. But is he a real falcon or is he artificial? Ah, I understand your question now. Uh, you must think this is based on an animal. This is not. It is a unique creation. A falcon. I've seen falcons before. No, you must <laughs> be mistaken. Perhaps you have seen a sparrow. They are very similar. You see, I specialize in chimeras. What are chimeras? Well, you know, there's a huge market for artificial animals, especially those that are rare or extinct. Chimeras are different. They are artificial animals which uh, never existed, created from the imagination of man. But I told you I've seen a real falcon. Eh? Where? Well, they're extinct now, I guess, but I saw them all the time when I was young. I'm from the Eastern Peninsula. They would circle around the farm in the summer, uh, until the big dust storms hit back in the Year of the Dragon. Listen, lady, I need you to do me a favor. Uh, okay. And never talk what? about that again. <laughs> Please leave, and don't tell anyone that there are real falcons, huh? Sure, <laughs> but why does it make any difference? When people know they're looking at something that once existed instead of something that never could, they get depressed. And sad people don't spend money. Are you the delivery person? Rania, yeah, I'm to take your package. It's everything. The limbs, com, holocrons, augments, everything I own. Make sure my family gets it. Just drop it in the post. I can't leave the queue or I'll lose my place. Are you sure about this? Yeah, a chance to see the spire. I, I gotta take the shot. I get to go above the clouds. Is it safe? Sure, yeah, of course. Huh. Okay then, good luck, I guess. Hey, thanks. Maybe I'll see you around. Maybe. Can I go in? Nope. Huh. So, the spire, whatever it is, takes you above the clouds? Hey, Rania, you met that guy going on the ascension? Is he really going through with it? He says the ascension takes him to the spire. It sure does. And no further. What do you mean? It's an escalator to nowhere. It just ends. Then what? Well, then he falls a few miles down into the sea. Oh, Go no. build an escalator that goes nowhere. You think everything in the city is logical? Look around, Rania. None of this makes sense. The city AI has gone mad. He said it was safe. Before he gave you all his possessions? He knew? He knew. I don't get it. You lived outside Navalis, right? So you've, you've seen the sky. You've got that memory. I've never seen the sky. I can live without it. But imagine you'd seen it just once. What would you do to see it again? <sighs> How's the sake control? You don't drink, right? You should try it sometime, Rania. When things are going wrong, it's a great way to keep yourself trapped in the long right now. Are you a poet now, Control? You know it. What should I do with his possessions? Well, he stiffed us on the bill. His payment was rejected. So if you got anything from him, you should return it to a Cloudpunk delivery chute nearby to cover his debt. What about his family? Let me make this as clear as I can, Rania. I don't know if he gave you something or if he gave you nothing. But I knew if he gave you something, I'd have to tell you to return it to Cloudpunk HQ. Control out. Uh-huh. 
He sounded different. Are we going to take Gil's things back to Cloudpunk HQ? Well, everything's packaged and postmarked. So if we drop the mail office, they'd get back to his family and Cloudpunk would never know. But maybe hmm. it would be good for us to give it to Cloudpunk. And if we broke the rules, we could get in trouble or get Mr. Control in trouble. Quiet for now, Chemis. I have to think. I think for this run, for this playthrough, I'm just gonna be a good little cloud punk delivery driver. Do as I'm told, all that kind of jazz. So we'll take it back to cloud punk. Is I want to see, let's see what happens. So the uh, waypoints aren't always accurate, and it's a little frustrating. Seventeen of twenty. I hate doing this. Being a delivery driver? No, paying off a dead man's debts. At least we won't get in trouble. I hate this city. We got a fish tank. Let's see here real quick. If we go down, will I be able to find any more? Let's take a look at the map, actually. So we have one that's way out here, and I don't know how to get there. Does this not work? Oh no, it works. Hey, Rania. Um, are you there? Yeah. You don't sound good, Control. What? Well, I'm fine. I, uh, if I could just sleep. I used to be able to sleep, you know. Are you sure you're okay? What is wrong with him? I think he's had some drinks. He sounds strange, like he is confused. Uh, broadcasting nav point, collect the package, 14FC. Uh, get on with it. Who from? Where am I going? Always questions from you. Just do your goddamn job. Control out. E. All right. Can I connect to all that? There's nothing else over there. But yeah, I'll play this I'll play this through as if I'm a obedient cloud punk driver. Unless it's something completely heinous. Just stay low. Traffic isn't an issue. <laughs> it looks like a few of the big vehicles sometimes show up down there, but that's really about it. I know I said this was going to be my last delivery, but we'll, we'll, we'll go a little bit more.
and it's just relaxing to fly through this city. You put in that synthwave music, and it's just like, yep. I'm just chilling, driving my delivery vehicle, looking all around. I like it. They're not always. Oh, it's got an arrow next to it. <laughs> Is there any more on this lower end? There are a couple more. I need to use the elevator, anyways. Oh, it's got the arrows next to it. That's going to take a little bit of getting used to. here I'm the delivery driver I'm here to pick up something yes you're here to take our original corbet huh uh, yeah right oh, it's a painting dear you'll be taking me and mr. Butler too but I don't think I'm supposed to take passengers what is all this nonsense? Mr. Octavius Butler, this was all supposed to be arranged. Didn't you tell the company that we simply can't let this painting out of our sight? I did, my love, I did. There must be some confusion. I'm sure our young driver friend will consent to take us. It won't be a problem and we'd hate to raise a complaint. Is that not right, young miss? I guess so. Oh. Let's be okay. going then. Can you pay me more for it? I want to it? see our new apartment as soon as possible. Apparently, Trisha and the Joneses have moved in next door already. And I don't want her spreading gossip about our new home and how it still smells like smoked fish. Dude, smoked fish smells awesome. No, there was one more that I wanted to go do. Oh my, this is cozy. I've never been in a vehicle like this. Very retro. I agree. Very nice indeed. Do you understand us, young lady, or should we speak slower? I understand fine. What an asshole. Dear, you must be very curious, are you not? How a woman like me and an android like oh, Mr. Android. Octavius okay. Butler met. Sure. <laughs> well, I can tell from your accent that you're not from the city, but we're quite enlightened here, you know. Isn't that right, Mr. Octavius Butler? That's right, my love. Some might say that Mr. Octavius Butler is human passing, but I don't care about that. I love him for who he is inside, not what his outer skin is made of. Like, I could see, you know, I've been reading a book about AI. I could see that, like, what connection is connection. What does it matter if it's... It's a polymer plastic. Not human. <laughs> oh, you are hilarious. What was I saying? Oh, yes. We met at a charity fundraiser. We both work for Life Corp. 
I'm in HR, and Mr. Octavius Butler is in acquisitions. We had executive offices next door. We started meeting for coffee, and one thing led to another. Wow. And now, just a week until our fifth anniversary, we're on our way to our new home. Aren't you happy for us? Uh, yeah, definitely. We're suddenly happier than the family that's moving out. Oh, don't start all that again. This area is up and coming now. The people Avalon Heights. Hey, we've been here before with that other AI. But like legit, like I mean we have Living there interactions with animals. It, and they what, wouldn't fit in either. What is the difference with the connection with an AI? With hyper gentrification, they're forced out instantly instead of being pushed out over months and years. It's a short, sharp shock. But it's for the best for everyone. People Fucking who hell. argue against free markets don't really believe in freedom. What freedom does this bring to the people who can't plan for a future? That's just life in Navalis. If you don't like it, go live somewhere else. Not everyone is suited for life in the city. Some people need to live here? Well, maybe in the nice places. But who needs to live in the filth of the marrow? No one stays there without good reason. And the reason is they all dream of getting rich with some scheme or other to make their way up to the spire. That's the Navalis dream. Our society has a million slots and each must be filled. Every time someone moves up a peg, someone fills in the gap behind them. And every time someone at the bottom slips, where do they go? I read in the holocrons yesterday that the most common food in the marrow is now roach meat kebabs, noodles with rat. Those kinds of people love street food. No offense, dear. None taken. Fucking hell. I love a maggot pizza. We're almost at our destination. Splendid. That was easily the most repugnant conversation see, I've had Mr. in this game. Octavius Butler, look at this fabulous place. Different and together, but separate. That's how we exist together in this city without all the systems breaking down. That's what they used to say about androids, you know. Oh, don't hearken back to your revolutionary days again. You have rights now, just like humans. Androids are just a part of society, low and high. We are all the same, you know. As long as we all have the same bank balance. Well, you're welcome to give away all your money to the orphans and the rat children. You can come and stay in my penthouse as long as you take off your shoes and have a shower before you touch me. Very generous of you, my love. Have either of you ever actually been to the Marrow? Oh, heavens no, dear. I have family in the Spire, and Mr. Octavius Butler is from a very distinguished line of androids. He's descended from the very first Korra models. Korra. Wait, what does that mean? Why do you mention Korra? It's just a saying, isn't it, Mr. Octavius Butler? In a way... It means he's refined, dear, just like me. We have no prejudice here. We're very enlightened people in the city, you know. Yeah, you said that before. Do you think the family will still be there when we arrive? I shouldn't think so. Two hours of rent at peak rate and they'd be bankrupt. I'm sure they're long gone, either moved on or forced out by Corpsec for violating their lease. I bet they'll be somewhere nice. Not everyone ends up in the marrow, you know. Maybe one day they'll seize the means of production down there. <laughs> oh, you are witty. The production of mold burgers and rat salad. No offense, dear. Yeah, none taken. Thank you for getting us to our destination, driver. It's been fun to drive in a vehicle Only 150 that's much more bucks rustic for that? than our limo. Our painting made it here safely, too. And what a lovely neighborhood. Quite so. I just feel filthy after that. Alright, let's get the things that are here. Twenty. Oh, 
we have more on the other side. But I got the 20. Let's so return to the Hava. Maybe we can go see Evelyn. Maybe that'll be it for the day. Like, is this all supposed to be just in one night? <laughs> so far, that's yeah, what it's been. This is why I'm not a taxi driver. I didn't like them. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't think they would like automata or dogs. Or anyone poorer than them, less educated, less well-connected, less stuck up. Different in any way. But one of them was an android. The android seemed to kind of care. But was willing to just brush it off right away. I know, Camus. I have a question. Go ahead. Did you really eat maggot pizza? No, Camus. I was playing along. Oh, a joke. I laugh at them. Me too. It's all we can do. Hmm. So... It is very quiet. It makes me nervous. We can listen to the ad streams if you like. Are they interesting? Sure, if you want to learn all about everything we can never afford. What about music? No thanks. We can check the weather feed if you like. If you want it, I can put it on. Fine, but we're not tuning into any of the Corp music feeds. They're all ads and Corp approved pop stars. They sound so empty, hollow. How do we find other feeds? I only know about Corp channels. The radio, Camus. The what? An electromagnetic wave of a frequency between about 300 kilohertz and 300 megahertz. You can tune that in, right? Yes, I have found it. I'm hearing it now. How strange. It's the easiest way to broadcast without the corpse shutting you down. They've been playing music with radio waves for thousands of years, you know. How did you know? Mom told me if I ever visited Novalis, I should tune in to the pirate radio. She said it was the only good thing about the city. Go ahead, play something over the speakers. What about this? I like it. Maybe something a bit more relaxed, though. I know this one. I like the bit that goes ba ba ba. Yeah, it's nice, Camus. But let's see what else there is. Oh, oh, what about this? Do we know who this is? No. It is radio. Right, sorry. Dumb question. Do you like this one more? I like this one. I like it too, but keep searching. There is I can't one talk more. to Evelyn until they're done. Yes, <laughs> it won't let me. This is perfect. Mom would have liked this. We have a new job coming in. From Control? He normally calls. The checksum confirms it's Cloudpunk. I have a nav point. Let's go then. I have more of the punch cards for you. They're really spread around the city. I think these ones are pretty intact. Dr. Zizic was careful. She punched them out of nanofibers. They'd survive a bomb blast. Thank you. This is enough to partially recompile my memories. I don't understand, Evelyn. These cards hold your memories? How? Dr. Zizic knew that almost any storage medium could be recovered with a standard corpse set comprehender. They can decode and read almost any storage medium from a transistor drive to a DNA crystal encoding. But not punch cards? Yes, not punch cards. They are too old. However, their information storage capacity is tiny. They can't store whole memories then? No, but they can hold a crypto key that can decode the memories I already have, though it will take some time to unlock them. Why do you think Dr. Zizic locked your memories away? And why are you worried about CorpSec being able to read them? Perhaps next time we speak, I will be able to answer those questions. I need more time and more punch cards. Please bring me any you find. More punch cards, okay. We're gonna enter our apartment. Can I, I was wondering, like I bought that console. Can I play the, I wanna play the game. <laughs> My upgrades, what do we got? Fish tank, a mirror, framed photo, 
Okay. Ah, not bad. Oh, cool. Fuck it. Let's. I mean, I could afford it all. Why not? I can't see. Is that supposed to be the mirror? I think that's the mirror, and I can't see myself in it. Look at the photo. Okay. Look at the fishies. Now the real question. Are they real? Eat Aha. pizza. This is the best. Yes. All right. I'm going to eat the whole ah, pizza. Balls. Ah, ah, my favorite. Ah, balls. Yeah, that's what I say when I run out of pizza, too. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, this was episode two of Cloud Punk. Maybe episode three. Honestly, this is what I'm up to in almost two hours. So I might actually have to split this up into two episodes. But, um, yeah, I'm really digging it. Like... I like the character of Rania. The voice acting in the, this game is awesome. I'm just entranced by this world and what's going on here. And it's done. We've been getting little bits and pieces of what's going on in this world and why things are the way they are. And it's enough that like it's not flooding me with like, OK, here's everything that's going on. It's more of like, here's a little bit of here and here's a little experience here. And here's how, you know, the elitism affects everybody else and how they think and it's it's like these little tiny fish hooks. It's just they, they've been enough that I, I want more. Um, so I definitely recommend the game. And as always, down in the description, you will find the link to the game. You'll find the link to my website, indie-gems.com, which has the top 10 indie games of 2020 i posted up there so check that out um cloud punk would have been on there to be honest i'm enjoying it that much but i just it didn't meet it didn't fall into the criteria i came into the game too late but this game is really good um also down below is a link to my social media my patreon and thank you everybody if you enjoyed this please leave a like and i hope to see you guys at the next episode